Hi there, welcome back. This is Ajit Bhagi from the Happy High, and today I bring to you an interesting topic, that of decanting. Decanting has its own share of uh, uh, what you controversy. It's not really. Some people say decanting is necessary. Decanting is not. Well, I really feel decanting is necessary because uh, decanting is done to air the wine. You can do the same in your glass, but then it's just that you can't resist that full glass sitting in front of you, you end up having it. But it's not the best wine experience. You rather have a decanter sitting away from you and then you just wait for the wine being poured. I think that helps you just get a better wine experience, hence decanting is necessary. So which wines do you decant? So typically reds and uh, why are they decanted? Because of course to open them up. Which wines are decanted? For me, any heavy bodied red wine. Irrespective of the age, even a young, heavy bodied red wine should be decanted because it just helps the wine uh, to breathe better. It is like a little baby which comes out in the world and doesn't know how to react. It takes a little while to, for that first cry to come out. It is just that lead time that we need to give to the wine. So in this case, again, it's a young, young large serve and ideally I would decant it. So in this case, what do you need? A little decanter which allows a little more surface area for the wine to breathe and I take the wine and simply the decanter and I just pour the wine in. I just let it stay there. It would be as low as 10 minutes, could go on to 20 minutes. Some people prefer to decant it for 2 hours. But I think 10 to 20 minutes does the job for most wines. So that's the first one. Now, the second one is assuming that this is the old wine. This is not old wine. This is just a 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon from the House of Ravello. It has seen both battles. But then the way I'm going to decant it is meant for a wine which is much older, which has a possibility of having a lot of sediments in the bottle. So just for the video's sake, let's assume that this wine bottle has a lot of sediments. It doesn't because it's a 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon. So to look at the sediments, what we need is a, a clear neck of the bottle. So unlike any other wine, we, we cut at the second lip. Here I actually cut the entire capsule open or the entire foil open. I make a vertical cut and just remove it completely. That's because I need the neck of the bottle to be clear. And I quickly open the bottle of wine. Assuming that there are a lot of sediments in it, this bottle needs to be treated like a baby. It can't be always, hey come on guys, I've got a new bottle of wine because all the sediments are you know, right there. It's very difficult to separate those. You know, these sediments have settled over time as the wine laid down for aging. So, you know, just treat this wine like a baby and do not vibrate or shake it much. Now, open it. Keep it on the table or just hold it in my hand. And now, if it were to be a regular wine or a younger heavy bodied wine, I would just pour it. But assuming that this is with sediments, like I said earlier, I need a little light source which allows me to see the sediments which pass. So, in earlier days, candle in posher restaurants you'll see candles, but in today's day of technology, the light just works well. So, I keep a source of light underneath, I hold a decanter. The shape of the decanter matters, these are a lot of technological elements coming to use in terms of airing as I mean, sooner or faster, but this shape just works well. Okay. So now, how do I pour it? I Initially, when the wine is poured, all the sediments are below, so you can go a little fast and I see the wine from the neck and as the wine empties, I start pouring really slowly and slowly and slowly and slowly and the moment I see some kind of sediment seeping through I just stop pouring there. So this is like the wine. Typically I, it is 
one third of a bottle that goes into sediments. Otherwise, the wine is generally clear, and the color of the wine will tell. So in this case, I'm just emptying the whole bottle because there are no sediments, and let the wine stay there. So this one is the 2014 barrel aged Cabernet Sauvignon from the House of Revel and the Lars Bordy decanted. So just to conclude, this is decanted, a young heavy bodied red wine, decanted for the purpose of breathing a little bit. An older wine, this like I said is not old, but an older wine is decanted for two things, one is for breathing and the second is for sediments. So this concludes our video on decanting, I hope you liked it and uh, you will at least have a decanter at home for a better wine experience. Thank you so much, stay happy, hi and keep drinking well, thank you.